All right, hello everyone who is out there. How are you? Hope you're all doing all right. Be sure to let me know. It's nice to see some people dropping in. Um, first of all, I've messed around. Hey, hi Sam. How are you? Uh, I've messed around with my mic settings a little bit, so I should sound a little bit clearer. You shouldn't actually be able to hear my computer fans, which is a first. <laughs> hi Jay. It certainly it certainly has been a Tuesday. I have I've definitely had a Tuesday. <laughs> How you doing, Jay? Hope you're all good. Tonight we are settling in to the cozy hug of Pokemon. But not just any Pokemon. We are going to try and have a bit of fun and make it random. Um, I have downloaded a program right here, and upon entering in some key information, we can make a Pokemon run that leaves a lot up to chance, up, down, anarchy, not quite that random. <laughs> that might be, um, that might be good one day though. If we can work something out like that. I mean, I'll just leave everyone down to control it, and then I'll just watch and react and see. I'm losing a lot of frames. An awful lot of frames, and I don't know why it's doing that. That's going to be a problem. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't want any politics. We need to keep, keep Lord Helix and the False Prophet, the Dome Deity. <laughs> keep them away. Uh, I'm hoping that that'll fix itself somehow. I've kind of I kind of just hope it'll Framey does add to the vintage vibes, that's true. And in fairness, there is nothing happening at the moment, so you're not missing anything. But uh that's a good point. I, I mean, I can't change it now. I don't anticipate where are we? Uh, 40,000? That feels like a lot. <laughs> that feels like a lot. Never mind, I, I can't, I don't know if I can do anything about it now. But, yeah, we're gonna randomly randomise this run to all sorts of jiggery-pokery. So, I need to get the ROM loaded in, and there is all sorts of stuff that we can do. I'm, you'll have to let me know once we actually get started into the game um, as to whether or not, as to how it looks as well, because obviously this is, Pokemon wasn't made for 1280 by 720, so it will be in a weird ratio and all that. But we'll get there, we'll get there. So looking at this at the moment, we have several different sections. We can randomise the starter Pokemon anywhere from the initial Bulbasaur all the way up to Mew. Or just leave it as random. We won't know what we're going to get until we get in and open the Pokeball. So we're obviously going to leave it like that. I have a few settings here. We can randomise TMs. So certain TMs won't contain the moves that they used to. Which sounds good. The TM compatibility means that certain moves will not be able to be learned by the Pokemon. Like... You will be able to get a Squirtle to learn Water Gun from a TM, for instance, which I feel, again, throws everything in jeopardy. Randomise movesets. You know, we could have a Magikarp that knows Dragon Rage before it's supposed to when it becomes a Gyarados. So that also feels like a good thing to do. I'm not sure about stats and types. I, I think that will really throw us for a loop. So I might leave those as they are. In terms of wild Pokemon, we can make it completely random, so we could encounter anything at any time, which is scary. It doesn't change the levels, so outside Pallet Town we could, in theory, come across like a Nidoking, but it would still only be level 2, which might make things complicated later on. Unique Pokemon lets us randomise 
the encounters with things like Zapdos. I mean, we could totally come across something that isn't an electric legendary bird Pokemon in the power plant. Uh, trade Pokemon, uh, we won't be doing any of that, I don't think, because this will be emulated. This isn't on a real Game Boy. <laughs> uh, so I don't think we can do that. And in short, all Pokemon appear. Obviously means that we're going to get all of them come in. For trainers, we can have it completely random as well. Every trainer will have a different a different team. They'll still have the same number of Pokemon, but all of the Pokemon will be random. We'll randomize their names, and whatever Pokemon the rival keeps, uh, the rival picks, he will keep as well. And it will evolve uh, if it has the room to do so as well. So I think that's everything set. We now save the ROM. Successful. Silent. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone always looks at me weird when I say that Scythe is my favourite Pokemon. And I've got to say, it's it's nice to have someone else on team. I've got a shiny Pokemon card above my monitor of Scyther that was given to me as a present. So it is top quality. Uh, anyway, give me one second to get us into the game and then hopefully things will be able to move forward. Just let me put my fancy screen up. However I do that. Just like that. <laughs> and where do I need to go? Yeah. Scyther's poor in generation one. Is I've never I've never had much experience with Scyther in Generation 1, because I had Pokemon Blue, and I you couldn't encounter Scyther in Pokemon Blue. I don't think so. I never actually got to use it, which means that I only ever had it as my favourite Pokemon just because it looked cool. Uh, yeah, the screen is nice and professional in a way, but then we can cut back to the footage and it isn't because all sorts of random things happen. There we go. Even got a task bar at the top. How about that? Uh, so it should look a little bit like boxy. Should have letterboxing down the side with the main game hidden away in the middle. Hopefully. Are you going to run for me? I had noise. I've got noise, but nothing else. I don't know where it is. Why are you not showing me the game? Okay. Hmm. This didn't happen when I <laughs> when I tested to see how this would this would work. Maybe less. Maybe full screen's too much. Full screen was too much. Full screen was too much for it. That's to be expected. Can I? Maybe I can. Faker full screen. It's also random whether you get to see it or not. <laughs> this stream it is cursed. It is cursed. Um. Oh, that's not what I want. It's a weird shape. That's about four by three. Do you mind having my desktop background in the back? I hope not. I it makes things a bit more rustic, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. So, let's just. As we're kind of going through the opening scroll, I'll give you a bit of context. Uh, so I was supposed to be streaming this last night, but Twitch had a bit of a mare and crashed, and I wasn't able to do anything. It logged me out. <laughs> it's like a 2019. I'll um, I'll try not to get too upset by that. Uh, how's the audio, by the way? It feels kind of loud in my headphones, but my levels look okay. I'm hoping it kind of comes across all right. Um, I like every time I drag the window it kind of bleeps and bloops as well could do that, we could play the game like that if you don't like my desktop but I feel like that looks even worse <laughs> so I don't know if we'll bother with that too much <laughs> um, oh, I've broken it all now okay well let me know if the audio does go a bit weird I know it's kind of jumping about a bit but that's just because I'm fiddling about with the sign but yeah, Twitch had a bit of a meltdown yesterday. I wasn't able to 
stream or even log in. I was logged out of my account and couldn't get back in. I thought everything had been absolutely deleted and it happened about 15 minutes before I was due to go live, which is always the way. Um, see, there we go. Look at that. This is the first instance of randomness. I'm very sure normally it gives you a Nido King at the, or Nidorino in this opening bit. This time we've got an Articuno. So it is random. <laughs> it is random, which is great. So yeah, Twitch had a bit of a meltdown. I thought I'd lost absolutely everything, but turns out it was just a problem on their end. So hopefully everything's all right now. Uh, frames seem to have calmed down a little bit as well. What is my name? Am I okay to just put in my name? Does anyone want to be the main character? I'll tell you what, I, I, I'll be me. First person to claim it can be the rival. You have to get missing though. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. And uh, Rach, that's exactly the same. That's exactly the same. I thought I thought that it was the millionaire clip. I looked back and the audio didn't get through. So it wasn't like a audio takedown which Twitch have been on fire for recently. <laughs> Call him Knack. <laughs> oh I like all of those I mean Rach got him first and I did say first Dibs gets the gets the name. So I, I have to honour that, um, unfortunately. Also, the, the name is appropriate too. Uh, yes, yeah, so I, I, I thought it had something to do with the millionaire clip as well. And I was like, right, well, that's that's the end. After four streams, that's it, job done. <laughs> uh, you do have to be a male throughout this, unfortunately, Rage. It does just say his name is Chew. <laughs> Never mind. Nick! <laughs> throwing a paddy you guys can sort that one out amongst yourselves <laughs> uh, what I might just do ever so quickly is move can I bring this I'm just going to move chat over a little bit just so it's hovering over the game screen so I think it's a bit more readable there rather than rather than over, over my desktop there Never mind. I might be able to crop the video. I might be able to edit the video and crop it a little bit. Anyway, a wonderful world of adventures and dreams awaits. Let's go. Um, backseat gaming is encouraged, obviously. I, w I would like your input, the Pokemon to go for. We don't really know how it's going to go down too much yet. So we'll have to... We'll have to hope for the best. We turn on the PC, obviously. Withdraw the potion, first of all. What was everyone's favourites, by the way? We've established mine was Scyther, as, as was Will's. Nice to see you in here, Will. I didn't say hello, actually, by the way. Nice to see you here. And you, Rach, as well. I've never said hello. I don't say hello to people. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, I, I want to know people's favourites, because if they come up, then it's only, due di it's only diligent of me to do my best to try and catch them. Hey, wait! Don't go out! Bulbasaur is a, is a relatively safe bet, if you don't mind my saying so. <laughs> you need Pokemon for your protection. Come with me. I have three that I have absolutely no idea who they are or what they are. I'm going to give one to you and hope that it's... <laughs> hope that it's good. Uh, Rach, you'll have to narrate for this. I'll just pretend that you are. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Chew? Oh, let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just wait. Oak's aged a lot in my version of the game. <laughs> I can't really remember how Oak sounded in the anime. It's like, here, Nick, there are three Pokemon here. Ha ha, they are inside the Pokeballs. Was it something like that? I don't know, it was a weird American accent because it had been dubbed. So, when I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I only have three left. But you can have one. Choose. Yeah, I know I know who Rachel is. Butterfree is a good shot. That episode where Ash got rid of the Butterfree. Spoilers, by the way. That was a that was a powerful heartstring moment, I think. <laughs> RK9. <laughs> RK9's a very good I don't uh, RK9 looked probably the most royal out of Generation 1. 
carried itself with with pride. <laughs> Is his larynx made of plastic? <laughs> Stop it! He's, he's a, supposed to be a friend. <laughs> be pa- I mean, it does feel a bit like that. Be patient, Chew. You can have one too. It is taking a lot of effort <laughs> to talk in that way. All right, here we go. If everything worked correctly, our three starters here are random. They can be anything, by the way. There's a way to specify it so that it's only like starter Pokemon. We've got it specified so that it can be literally anything. And I've got a good feeling about this first one already. Geodude's not the worst. Geodude's not the worst. That could be quite good to have. But, oh, we could have the fine Pokemon Geodude. <laughs> oh, I said yes! No! I didn't mean to say yes! Can I rewind? Um. Um. Okay. Reset. <laughs> <laughs> because it do so it doesn't reload it doesn't reset the rom every single time so we'll just need to speed through all this again which i can do because i have a speed up button and this time i won't say yes <laughs> uh that is that is true about evolving it i was, I was going to get onto that before i got ahead of myself <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we can't get it beyond Graveler. Um, which is probably going to be worth bearing in mind. Um, but we'll, we'll see what else we have. If you do want to play Spets, then now's the now's the time to do it. I don't know what you can bet with, but if you want if you want to place your bets now, then do so. <laughs> so had Geo Dude in the first one. What awaits for us in the second? And the third. I don't know. I don't know what the reward is if anyone gets it right, but um, I mean, I guess the odds aren't too much in your favour. You've got a what is it? It's like a two in hundred and fifty-one chance of getting one right, or two in a hundred and fifty now, I guess, because we already know what one of them is, which is, you know, it's not the worst odds in the world. There we are. Only everything moved so quickly. All right, okay. <laughs> so, just to double check, and before I do go any further, let's just pop down the save state, just in case I mess it up again. So, just to double check, in the first one we have got Geodude, who's gonna stay right there for us. So, you want the fine Pokemon Geodude. It's changed some of the adjectives around as well. So, obviously Geodude's a rock Pokemon, but it couldn't work that out, so it's just gone with fine. <laughs> okay, so what have we got in? Uh, Oddish, Jinx, Ekins. What's Aaron, Sam? I, this is Gem 1. Yeah. <laughs> if, if it makes you feel any better, we could call one of the Pokemon Aaron as a nickname. <laughs> um, okay, Oddish, Jinx, Ekins. I'm gonna open the Mankey Caterpie. All right. Okay. Here we go. Doduo. How many? How many of you sitting there now going? Oh yeah, Doduo. Because <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> um, you want the fat Pokemon? <laughs> the fat Pokemon Doduo. No. I don't want that one. I'm kind of underwhelmed right now. I'm kind of underwhelmed. Out of the two, I'd be inclined to go for Geodude right now. Just because I feel like his strong defense at the start would probably be quite useful. Uh, but obviously, bear in mind, every Pokemon's moveset is random as well. So just because we've got Geodude doesn't necessarily mean we'll be working with rock moves. Uh, Tempest, thank you for the follow. Very nice to have you on board. Hope you're doing well this evening. Do let us know. Feel free to join in. It's two for the price of one with Dojo. Yeah, but you don't get to attack twice with Dojo. 
I feel like you should be able to with bird with bird moves. You should be able to if you use peck. You should be able to peck twice because Dodio has two heads. Anyway, our third and final option. Radicate. Well, it's tolerable, but not great. <laughs> so, as a gauge, I did a test run, and one of the things I could pick up was Gengar. So I went with Gengar, was level 20 by the time I made it to Pewter City, and steamrolled. <laughs> so, I feel like playing, yeah, I think Tempest is right, playing with an evolved Pokemon is probably a little bit too easy. Um, so, I think it comes down to Geodude or, you want the mean Pokemon, Raticate? No. So, I think it's between Geodude and Doduo, but I'm not 100%. Uh... Rattata was purple, Raticate just kind of turned into more of a gerbily colour. What do we reckon? Doduo? Let me know. Let's let's take let's take a vote. So who who's on the side of Doduo? Who's on the side of Geodude? I got a do duo. Two, three. Oh, it's three one, three one down at the moment. J. <laughs> uh, I'm ass I'm assuming that uh, you vote is for Geodude and you're not just addressing me. <laughs> um. Okay, I think. Uh, out of five votes, four v one for do duo. I'm a duo dude. I'm not sure that I can take both. <laughs> uh, we we will roll with do duo then. The uh, what was this Pokemon described as? The fat Pokemon. The fat Pokemon do duo. <laughs> All right, give me a nickname for do duo because this is what we're gonna roll with. And. Uh, needless to say, the rival will still take the next one along, so our rival is going to end up with Raticate. Fatty. Kiwi lad. Duo dude. <laughs> yeah. I, li I like duo dude. To commemorate the life that's been lost. <laughs> Would have been a waste of a restart if we'd gone for duo dude. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, um, I I like the I like the sound of duo dude, so we're gonna go for that. Um, I can only imagine how lacking in self confidence this do duo will be, knowing that we picked it and we were like, we've got you, but we'd much rather have had someone else. <laughs> so much so, I'm not gonna call you by your name. I am going to call you by the name of the person that we could have had. And Chu has got herself eradicate. It is done. <laughs> he needs shades now. Uh, right, so now we're going to get our first taste of a battle. And as I've said, remember, all the moves that each Pokemon can have are random as well. So let's see. Let's see how it goes. Wait, Nick! Let's check out our Pokemon! Come on, I'll take you on! That's gonna be your voice for the for this for these streams, Rach. <laughs> you're, you're basically gonna be voiced by Sonic. Alright, Chew wants to fight. Chew sent out Raticate. This would be a wonderful time for it to only know like I dunno, a rubbish move. Okay. Dojuo, what do you got for me? Whoa! <laughs> Solar Beam and Supersonic? <laughs> That's not a bad opening move set. <laughs> um uh, Solar Beam Solar Beam's a two turner though, right? And that, you have to wait for that. But it is our only attacking move. This could be quite difficult, you know. We've only got one attacking move. And it's a two turner. 
You eradicate those horn attack for some reason. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna lose this battle. <laughs> All right, who said who said Dojuo? Who said Dojuo? Yeah, am I great or what? All those who voted Dojuo, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> literally, literally, everyone, we're not friends anymore. Unfollow, 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 unfollow. <laughs> okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Nick, Gramps, smell you later. Yeah, <laughs> Jay's the only one who's got any high ground here. He's the sole voter for Geodude. <laughs> worth it. It is worth it for Solar Beam, assuming we can survive that long. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Let's let's roll onwards to Viridian City and get Oak's parcel. First encounter. <laughs> Electrode. <laughs> I don't think I have ever died on the walk to Viridian. But I'm feeling like this could be the case. <laughs> Come on, let's give it a go. Electrode used bite. Okay. This is okay. This is okay. We can do this. Do duo took in. Oh, sorry, duo dude. Took in. That's gonna throw me for a loop for certain. Oh, that would have been the end of us if that would have hit. <laughs> go on, go on, duo dude. Take it out. That was pitiful damage. <laughs> oh, I bear in mind this electrode no thun knows thunder. We should probably run away, but I'm gonna tough it out. If it's gonna keep biting us, then I'm not too concerned. Come on, duo dude! Come on, now would be a great time for a critical hit. <laughs> You can't write it. You can't write this stuff. <laughs> Fantastic. Electrodes down. Duo dude gained 85 XP. We didn't level up though. Just realised that the speed is too slow. I think this is probably one of my favourite soundtracks from the first Pokemon game. This one's just so upbeat. Join in if you know the words. No, too late. Never mind. Give me another. Yo, Growlithe will. Coming for you. Gonna need them potions. Absolutely. We're in big trouble. Oh, level 2 Growlithe, we should be able to absolutely stomp. But, we don't know what moves Growlithe has. And I've only got 8 HP. I don't think we can risk it. I don't think we can risk it on this occasion. We've got to get to that Pokemon Center, heal up first. We've got to come back this way. And the thing is, we're incentivized to walk through the long grass, right? Because everything's random. So, we should walk through the long grass. We'll come across it. We'll come across it again. And then we'll just stomp all over it with a solar beam. I don't know where Duo Dude takes in the sunlight for a sun be solar beam, but some questions are probably left best unanswered. Hey, you came from Pallet Town? That's right, I did. You know Professor Roker, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? I guess I ain't got the choice on that one. The shops are not randomised. You can still buy the same stuff you used to be able to in the vanilla game. They're not randomised. Yeah, that's true actually. We supersonic first, that might count in our favour. Let's give it a test. Let's give it a test. Oh. It's the electrode again. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Like we're we're in this for we're in this for the fight. 
Thunder Electrode can't use to save its life. That's my problem with Supersonic, is it? Never, never works! <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, Supersonic doesn't do... Doesn't affect Electrode? I, I don't know much about the, like, hidden meta of the game. A star me? Ooh. Uh, yes, I can do game audio. Let's do it here, first of all. Um, turn that up a bit, and then down a little on the thing there. Hopefully that should be okay. Let me just... I have to go down a little bit, I think, in my ear. Um, let me just... I think that's just done exactly the same thing. One second. There you go. How's that? I hope that kind of... Now we've... I... Okay, good. I'm, I'm glad that works a bit better. Uh, Alright. Stormy. Let's go in with that supersonic again. How come the Stormy still gets to know water moves? I, I can't. I can't afford the double. This is going to be a really tough run in the early game. Because it's going to take us two turns to do any sort of damage. It's it's going to be a tough one for the start. Nick, you should take a quick rest. Level 5 forever. Yeah, the, the Iron Man run. No levelling up whatsoever. <laughs> Realize I've got a bit of distance down the bottom there. Just gonna do that as well. And frames went a bit haywire there for a second. So I think we're mostly okay. Alright, let's give Oak his parcel and try and get his voice a bit better. Oh how does how does Professor Oak sound? Right, okay, let's we need to. I need to do some. I need to do some research on this. I'm afraid, just temporarily. Or I, I don't want Pokemon challenges. I just want. Oh, this guy was the actual voice. Hello there, and welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. You... Hello there, and welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Something like that. Hello there. Hello there. And welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. And welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. We'll go with that. Oh, Nick. How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to like you a lot. It's tough. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. I've just gone back into what I was doing. <laughs> Oh hey Shiv, sorry, I missed your hello. Welcome, welcome. How did I get this on the uh, on the black market? I'm not telling. Shh. We're playing a randomised version of the game though, so everything's a little bit haywire. Okay, I've got I've got too many kind of too many kind of influences here. I've got casual white uncle who sounds super pumped, and a nice version of Professor Griswold. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. Hello! <laughs> you must be talented as a Pokemon trainer! <laughs> I won't go for the Griswold. The Griswold's tough. What? You have something for me? Nick delivered Oak's parcel. I'm gonna narrate you giving that to me. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you. Gramps! What did you call me for? Alright, I have a request of you too. <laughs> the emphasis was all wrong there. On the desk there is my invention Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia! <laughs> oh, right, the nostalgia. Oh. Beautiful. It's what I live for in video games. 
uh, of Nick and Chew, take these with you. Hey, Rage, did you know he was going to be a poet? To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream, but I'm too old, I could... <laughs> But I'm too old! I can't do it! <laughs> so, I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two! So let's kind of move from Professor Oak to Old Peculiar. Heroes! What treasures have we got in store for you? This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history! Now veering into Billy Connolly a little bit. This is why I've never done any serious voice acting work, it's just because I can't stick with one source of inspiration. <laughs> Alright, Gramps, leave it all to me! Nick, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Nick. Ha ha ha! Madame Nubescu. <laughs> what is happening? I don't know. I'm, I'm so, so hot. Do you know how much effort it takes to do voices like that? Oh my gosh. It's no wonder they charge so much. Oh. Anyway, actually, I've got a question. For people, another another Pokemon-related question. Um, where is the emphasis in the Pokemon Ratata? Because I always put it at this in the Ra, so as a Ratata. I know people call it Ratata and put the emphasis on the the Tat in the middle. So I am intrigued as to what the official pronunciation is. The first syllable. The first syllable. That's what I thought. Alright, here's that Growlithe. Let's come back for more. Bring it on! What? Propara... Proparoxytones? Pro... 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 Proparoxytone? What is that? Thunder Punch! We're finished! Who taught they... Oh, we're fine. We're fine. But still... Who taught their Growlithe Thunder Punch? <laughs> and, of course, grass isn't very effective against fire. This is rough! Oh, we can't, we can't, we can't do this. <laughs> this is rough, we can't even grind! That solar beam has absolutely stumped the early game. Oh, it's a Lickitung, okay. <laughs> Hi there. Okay, surely we can take down a Lickitung. That can't be too bad. It's not, win it's not strong to it. Water gun we can handle. <laughs> Do we have to restart? It's staying determined is one thing, but this feels tough. <laughs> Not on a single battle. It seems like the general consensus is the the first syllable gets the emphasis. Ratata. And I think, I guess the Americanization is the Rattata. Rattata. I guess in the Americanized version they just replace all the T's with D's anyway. Rattata. Yes, heal us and teach us a move, please. Just a TM will do. Basically what we need to come up against is, like... We need to come up against... Like, a, a Diglett that only knows Tail Whip, which it can't even learn, but thanks to this mod it can possibly have. I retitled the retittle of your rebuttal. Is that a peroxytonin or whatever you said? 
We need Magikarp. Magikarp doesn't guarantee us anything. It doesn't guarantee us anything in this game. In the old game, it guaranteed you a really uphill struggle until you got Gyarados. In this one, it doesn't guarantee us anything. It's a Graveler. There's a Graveler just hanging out by the Pokemon League. We, we can't keep running. We need to try and grind and get our levels up here. Submission's tolerable. Should be weak to Solar Beam. It is. We've done it. We've beaten something. We've beaten something. 76 XP. We've leveled up! For the first time in forever. <laughs> okay, so we know this is our patch of grass. This is the patch of grass we need to hang around in. <laughs> Although it, did, no, it didn't do too much of a number on us. We're okay. Oh, look at that. All the, all the support for our victorious duo dude. It's not... He's not totally useless. It's a freaking vile plume. <laughs> uh, we should run from this, right? The solar beam's going to do nothing for us in this battle. We can't rely on supersonic to do anything. We should just leave. <laughs> I can't remember where all the hidden items are and what, like, each NPC does, so I don't want to really talk to all of them, but maybe we should to just try and get, oh, I don't know, whatever. Clapping vigorously in a way I assume Machamp would. I, yeah, clapping in double time. Ah, here we go, back to this song. So now we get our first, I guess, real test in Viridian Forest. It's where our first trainer battles are. Oh, it's a Nidoran. That's fairly acceptable. We could we could probably take down a Nidoran. We should definitely go back to the Pokemon Center before we move into the forest, though. I'm feeling good about this. I no longer feel good about this. This Nidoran knows how to pick up rocks. And Solar Beam isn't very effective against it. Okay. <laughs> know when to run. Now feels like a good time to run. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of back and forth, I think. I, I would be interested in trying to play this all the way through to completion. But it's going to be a tough job. What we should do as well while we're here is actually buy some Pokeballs <laughs> so we can catch other things. And so that we could, in theory, just kind of push push Duo Dude to one side a little bit until we can work with him a bit better. <laughs> Alright. Give me some, give me some Pokeballs. What can we work with it? We'll take five for now. Slow and steady wins the race. In th I assume that's what the close that sentence was going to be, and you weren't just going to go slow and steady. Still not going to get us anywhere. Maybe that's what we need is a slow poke instead. <laughs> Level two thunder punching Growlithe would be nice. <laughs> it's going to be the name of my EDM group. Is a Nidorino. I mean, what, what happened to that Nidoran on the short walk back to the Pokemon Center? <laughs> it's level 5 too, but I think because it's... <laughs> Hidely ho, neighborina! I think it's been leveled up. Or be, I think just because it's evolved, I think it's still gonna know the same moves that the Nidoran did. Let's give it a let's give it a go. Like we, we can't keep running forever. He's confused. That's gonna count for something. Yes. I don't. Ah, oh, but Solar Beam doesn't work on this Pokemon. What am I doing? We've got to do something. Counter. Psh, whatever. 
Not bothered. Ah. <laughs> it did it again! I can't have been the only one who never got confusion to proc in my favour playing the games when I was younger. It never seemed to work in my favour. Ooh, stop. Uh oh. Well, it was. It, it wasn't very effective. Can we. Oh, I don't think. I don't feel lucky. Catch it! Thank you! I was like, I don't feel lucky enough to use another move on it, so let's just catch it instead. Come on. <gasps> the gods. They smile upon me this day. <laughs> yes! That's great. And this Nidorino... Okay. Come on, I need a name. Oh, uh, Sam, was that the suggestion? Poggers? Poggers is the first name that... Or the first thing that can be construed as a name that I'm seeing. I also actually quite like Neighborino. Maybe... Um... Do you know what? I think on this one I'm gonna go for Neighborino if it will fit. It won't. I got... <laughs> Nay! <laughs> uh, Alright, well in that case we're going Poggers on this occasion. I never... I never gave my Pokemon nickname because... <laughs> oh, just too slow. Uh, I never gave my Pokemon nicknames when I was younger because... Like, I could never tell what they were just by looking at them. I didn't want to go through all the effort. But, what we've learned from the Nidorino here is that it has got Rock Throw Counter and Petal Dance. So, what I'm thinking is that I'm f we, we push Duodude down the list a bit and evolve Duodude by swapping it out, right? Because if you just bring it into battle and then swap it back out again, it can still get XP and can still level up. So I think that's what we're going to have to do for Duo Dude until until he's at a suitable level. And yeah, Poggers could be our savior. Poggers is certainly going to help us moving forward now. I think the game should open up a little bit now. If Fortune smiles upon us. Hopefully that should be the last time we visit the Viridian Pokemon Center for quite a while. <laughs> Maybe now we can take on the forest. And do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put down a proper save, not a save state. Because save states are scummy. And then we can just keep on quitting out and reloading for as long as we want. I'm looking at, I'm looking at OBS and I'm noticing that the game is just ever so slightly off and it's kind of bugging a little bit. I'm going to go to there. I think that'll probably do. If anyone chimes in and goes left a bit, right a bit, banned. <laughs> I probably do need to move the chat over a little bit further though, as well, which I didn't think of. Uh, where are we? There we are. Let's slide this over a bit. One second, you can't see what I'm doing here, but there we go. I could I'd use icons to measure. What I'm going to do, I think, in time for the next one, I'm going to try and figure this layout a little bit better. Maybe even just get like a picture in the background or something that isn't Banff. Oh, Sam. Go on. Say it again. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> now, as great as the music in this game was, there was also some clangers. Specifically this song, which does just sound like a lot of clanging. <laughs> I 
All right, Viridian Forest, show me what you got. It's a, it's a Kadabra. Our only concern here is that Poggers is weak to Psychic. However, Kadabra may not know any Psychic moves. So, let's take it out. What we counter. It's a Kadabra that knows Pound. We've got nothing to be scared of. <laughs> you missed, you dumb animal! How can you miss? It, it's a Kadabra. Just throw some rocks at it. It's a Kadabra that knows Sing. I don't think I want to fight it anymore. It send us to sleep and ruin everything. <laughs> Fortunately, it tried to sing, couldn't hit the notes, didn't bother again. That's what we like. Go on, Pog. Poggers levels up instantly. This is the one! Duo Dude has been completely relegated. It took Duo Dude six fights to get anywhere. Poggers did it on the first go. That is extraordinary. I'm not sure if messing around with the encounters has kind of changed the encounter rate, so how often we actually come across wild Pokemon, but uh, like I say, that's all probably part of the meta that I don't know much about. Poggers is Papa Fly. <laughs> we. Uh oh. Never mind. We might have to go back to the Pokemon Center once or twice more if we're gonna try and level up our Pokemon here. It knows Barrage as well. This thing knows Pound, Sing, and Barrage. It's put us to sleep and it's gonna throw eggs at us. We woke up straight away! Poggers is. is unquestionably top of the chain. <laughs> Poggers is unstoppable. That's a, that's that's sensational. Completely undeterred by having eggs thrown at it, it woke up immediately after being put to sleep. It's like me, and it's leveled up again. It's fought twice and leveled up twice. This is brilliant. However, I think this is <clears throat> excuse me. This is kind of the thing about this where we've randomised the Pokemon a bit, and we've got. A Pokemon that we very, really shouldn't have at this stage, it takes absolutely no XP at all to level it up. Because remember, you're never going to get a level 7 Nidorino. You're only going to get that much later on once you've leveled up a Nidoran or you've leveled it up by, and gotten it to a Moonstone or whatever. So I think although it feels like we're steaming ahead with this, it's all relative. But Poggers is doing the job. I don't even feel like I need to take him back to the Pokemon Center yet. But it is random. <laughs> this thing, I was kind of like, well, we can probably do it. It's only a bug catcher. But it's only a bug catcher with a completely random team that could absolutely stomp us. And I'm not confident on that. Poggers has more than made up for Duo Dude's false start. I mean, I feel I feel like we're dunking on Duo Dude a little bit. He's he did do some valuable work. Without Duo Dude, we would not have Poggers. So we do owe Duo Dude something, but. Poggers has outstripped it. It's like when you have a new employee at work and they are instantly so much better than you. Duo Dude just feels hurt and sidelined because the boss has a new favourite. <laughs> Alright. Duo Dude's the glass cannon. He's not though, is he? <laughs> He's a bird who can shoot sunbeams at Pokemon after a while. Anyway. Here we go, it's our first trainer encounter. Then might as well we randomised trainer names as well. So whatever this guy, because remember in Gen 1, the trainers didn't actually have names, they just had professions, if you like. I know in later generations you had them. Bugcatcher Ryan! 
and that sort of thing. So what it's done in this generation is it just randomizes their job profession to something else. And we'll see who we have here. Hey, you have Pokemon. Come on, let's battle them. All right then, bring it. What have you got for me? <laughs> Pet Poacher. <laughs> <laughs> so the forest is full of oh okay all of a sudden duo dude feels very small cuz trio dude has appeared <laughs> um okay what's effective against birds rock oh uh, oh no pedal dance won't be will it that'll be quite weak rock throw this is the end. Okay. Oh, that's it. More of that. More of that. Less blizzard. That'll do. What's it doing? What's it doing? Oh, of course! Because do Dodrio's no solar beam. So... So does Tri... Trioxide is probably a better name. <laughs> oh no! But it's Solar Beam which is going to be... It's weak. It's weak against us. We'll be fine. It's weak! That's acceptable. Taken down. Oh, whew. I was a little bit concerned there. We're not out of the woods yet though, if you'll pardon the pun. We leveled up twice in one go. Poggers is... Sensational. Pet Poacher, what do you got for me next? Starmie? We've already come across one of them. Three birds and a lot of stones. <laughs> well, it's three stones per throw. Each bird head got taken out by two stones. Um, I'm gonna give Duo Dude his chance. Don't spoil it for us. Oh yeah, I forgot that Starmie actually knows water moves. However, all we need it to do now is use something like Harden, and we'll be fine. Anyone else vote that we put Geodude in the PC? <laughs> what a letdown! Um... This. Oh, I thought that was me! And I realised that's not the move, and then Starmie... How could you miss? Starmie just threw the rocks at us to throw back at him! <laughs> Come on. What's going on? Fine, get in there with counter. We can't afford this anymore. Oh! Grass is strong against water, isn't it? Oh, well, we, we've thrown this. Okay. It's okay. I'm prepared to take a loss in the interest of learning. I'm prepared, I'm prepared to take the loss. F, F Sincha. <laughs> yeah. Mulligan. Redo. That didn't happen. So... Doduo, or Duo Dude, is gonna be a real problem to persevere with because that solar beam is gonna really screw us. So we are gonna be in a real problem with carrying on with him. So as much as I don't want to just kind of play with a tank and soldier through everything, I feel like that's going to be our best strategy moving forward. Well, actually, I mean, like I, like I said, what we should be doing is swapping out the Pokemon, right? So 
what I should be doing is having the duo dude at the start, say he's first out, and then just instantly swap him away until we've leveled him up enough. This is the kind of Pokemon tactics I never thought about when I was a kid. I literally just had one tank and tried to steamroll everything. Which is not an effective way of doing things. What was Pet Poach's first first Pokemon? I've forgotten. Oh, Dodrio, wasn't it? Um, let's give it another stab and see. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Alright. This is good. Feeling good about this. Oh yeah, I forgot that nose blizzard. If y'all could see my face right now. It's <laughs> the so last time I listened to all of you except for Jay. <laughs> right. Rockstrap. Poggers, what is wrong with you? You were doing so well. He's been frozen. Well, we just gotta sit this one out now. Frozen and confused. Just end, end me. You can't even buy, like, froze, freeze heals at this point in the game, because no Pokemon knows ice moves. <sighs> I would have thought the solar beam would have, like, thawed us out. <laughs> now it's just going to prolong the torment by using the move that is weakest against us. Two can play at that game. Ha! Sped up. Oh, there we go. Okay, we need to regroup. I did ignore my own tactic because I was prepared to give Duo Dude a chance, and it let me down considerably. However. Duo Dude has proven to me that I should never do that again. Right, so Duo Dude comes out. Swap it with Poggers. Poggers takes a little bit of damage, which we can accept, and then. Why? Why does this keep missing? Do people know? Anyone know the game better than I do? Okay, so he's just thrown the rocks at us now. So all we need to do is literally just pick them up and lob them back. That's it. Oh my god! How did it take so long? Don't waste any more time with that. Go counter. Goodness sake. What's wrong with Poggers? I'm beginning to think when it was put to sleep by the Kadabra that it didn't actually wake up and now it's just trying to attack with its eyes closed. <gasps> HIT IT! This is insane! How blind is Poggers versus how quick is this Nidoran? HIT THE DANG THING! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, <laughs> Poggers did his backing after carrying the team. <laughs> XP each! It was woeful. 
So 65%. But I feel like at least one of those extra ones would have hit. Yeah, I was gonna. So if that final rock throw wasn't gonna hit, I was just gonna take the hit and use pedal dance and just let it do the weak attack. Ah, oh, this is this is really this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I guess because my experience was steamrolling the early game with a Gengar, and obviously nothing works against ghosts in the first generation, so. If you've got a ghost Pokemon to start your run, it's a pretty much a sealed victory. And nothing's really strong enough at this point to take him out. Maybe randomizing the move set was a was a mistake. Maybe that maybe we went a bit wrong there. Okay. Well, never mind. I mean, we can we can encounter so many wild Pokemon. Maybe we should just kind of wander around and see see what other things we can encounter and try and train ourselves up a bit. A mistake might be fun though. Oh look, now we're not even going to get any wild Pokemon. We've killed them all. What do you got for me? Will, if you're still here, this one is for you. <laughs> Level 4 Arcanine. <laughs> well. Problem is, I haven't got anything to really take it down with. Come on, Poggers. Of course. Thunder Punch. That's the accuracy we need from you, Poggers. Good effort. Oh, didn't want to one-shot it, though. <laughs> I wanted that! <laughs> yeah, a good... Duo Dude's gone up! Yeah, once we get a good move on Duo Dude, that'd be fine. So, I'm almost reckoning we should just steamroll through to Pewter City, take on Brock, because then he gives us a TM. We don't know what it will be, or even if anyone can learn it, but we can give it a go and see. Couple more encounters like that though. He's back! Okay. An Arcanine with Thunder Punch would be pretty, pretty useful actually. Alright, same again, but less effective this time, Poggers, please. Super effective. Not a critical, though. That is absolutely ideal. Right. Come on, Arcanine. You're mine. Do it. Okay. Will gets naming rights for this one. He's specified Arcanine as his favourite Pokemon. Will gets naming rights. Arcanine! <laughs> this could also blow the run wide open as well. Awesome. Arcanine is. You know, sometimes you don't need complicated names. One solitary letter change is all it takes. I'm not spell checking this as well, so I'm. Just, looks about right. I know it'd be my luck that I will, um. I will say someone gets naming rights for a Pokemon and then just misname it. <laughs> um, so n now I think what we need to do is get Arcamine in the top space and try and do the same sort of thing for that to bring him up. No, I will just. I will just move on through the forest a little bit so we get a bit more kind of a bit more action for whatever's going on. Maybe we should come back for the well no because we've got the one that we've got you've got the obligatory trainer at the end of the forest. 
We can't bypass him. Yeah, I feel like the randomization definitely reduces the frequency at which you encounter wild Pokemon. I think to be able to wander through pretty much the entire forest without coming across anything is insane luck. I just realised there's an extra music channel playing under this. I've never heard the bass in this song before. Can I isolate that? I want to. I just want to get the bass. It sounds a lot better than the main song. And percussion's always on channel four. Oh, it's finished. That's the end of the bass. Oh, it's a lot more repetitive without the rest of the song. Let's <laughs> get that in. Oh, that's the... That's the janky bit. Maybe that's what I heard instead, if we take the janky bit out. Oh, the janky bit is all over the thing. Never mind, let's just... Let's get back to how it all is. Give me a wild Pokemon to level up! Thank you. Who had Jinx? Someone said Jinx as well. <laughs> Who had Jinx? I know someone said it. It's Sam. <laughs> then this may be your lucky day. It may also not be. It's a Jinx that knows Hyper Beam. Of course it is. Oh! Well, that's fine. Let's get in there with Petal Dance. Should work, right? Oh, uh, not quite how I wanted. Jinx must recharge, that's perfect. That lets us get another hit in. Oh, it likes that news though, doesn't it? Uh-oh. I feel like a Jinx with Hyper Beam is too good to pass up. Do not let me down, Duo Dude. This is your chance for redemption. It'll be the beginning of one of the longest redemption arcs to have ever existed. We can't do any damage because it's... If I confuse the Jinx, well, uh, do you know what, let's just go for it and hope for the best. Oh, I don't fancy my chances on that very much. <laughs> I... Yes. I was going to Jay's. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I fancied my chances on that, but I think we're going to have to sit this one out. But, well, if it's, actually, no, because if it's got wing at it, well, let's give it a go. Oh, I meant to use solar beam, never mind. Oh, hang on, don't cash in your chips just yet. Just too much to ask. How did how did Arcamine not level up? How much does it need to level up? Just 28 more, that's fine. Thunder Punch, Mega Kick and Lick though. That's a that's a nice moveset. I still don't have trust in Duo Dude though. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to warp speed again because we can't keep doing all of this. Oh my, that's, that's how fast warp speed, <laughs> you just get from one side to the other, instantaneously. <laughs> Can't keep afford to walking between everywhere like this. 
I didn't anticipate it to be this grindy. We've got a lot of... A lot of work to do, because... Like I say, we've got that trainer that we have to fight to get out of Viridian Forest. And... We... We aren't strong enough yet. I don't think we... Because we're not even strong enough to take on the first one. And I know he's got relatively powerful Pokémon, but the levels are still low. So... We... We, we need to... We need to do the grind. I mean, well, do it... I tell you what, I can... I will, um... Dratini. Alrighty then. <laughs> I wonder. I'm gi I'm gonna give you a chance, Archimine, because this should be strong against a Dratini. It's weak. Why why is that weak? I thought Dratini was like a was a Pokemon that would be weak to electric. Oh it's gone. Bye! Bye then! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that's what I, I mean, that's what I love about this mod is that the game can just catch you off like that. It's like, oh, Dratini, great. Teleport. Zoop. Bye. All right. Look, we're gonna we're gonna put a hard save down, and we're gonna take on the pet poacher. We've got to make some progress here. Been nearly an hour and a half. We haven't gotten anywhere. Oh, it's a dragon. Right. I thought it had, like, dual typing as dragon and water. Never mind. Unless Thunder Punch is actually a electric move and it's a fighting move, but... No, it is electric. Well, if we can get a hit into Dodrio, Thunder Punch should be quite useful here. But... Oh, no, because the Dodrio knows Blizzard, and we're a fire Pokemon. It's just going to go straight in on that and decimate us. Come on, Poggers. Nice try. Rock throw. Oh, okay. Have another try. Good effort. This is going to hit me every single time. Told you. <laughs> Go Poggers! I think that's got to be one of the reasons why they didn't use nicknames in the actual anime. Imagine just the train going, Go Poggers! And everyone just standing around going, oh, What's this going to be? Confused no more, still can't lob a rock at a bird. We've killed no birds with... Uh, ungodly amount of stones. Thank you, it is done. What was the next Pokemon? Arcamine, you're welcome. We're going to keep on that trail. Poggers running away with it, as expected. What you got for me? Starmie, of course. Okay. Then let's... Let's bring Arcamine back in. He's going to need to go straight away because the Starmie seems to be the only Pokémon that isn't actually affected by the randomization and still knows water attacks. For whatever reason. Archimine, come back. You get your share of XP. Oh yeah, but Starmie knows how to do that. But, this time we go in with Petal Dance. Assuming we're allowed. This could be the one. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. 
Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Ah, uh, see, Archimine knows a electric move, which would be great, but the Starmie knows a water move. Okay, do you do a dude? This is just Starmie's move set. <laughs> Be brave, duo dude. <gasps> All praise! Whatever deity we're gonna go to. Oh. <laughs> That's the, that is the sweetest redemption. Strong Kiwi. I almost, I almost want to rename Duo Dude now to Strong Kiwi. <laughs> no, Caterpie can't cut it. It sure can't. Caterpie, more like Canterpie. Don't know why he would happen to be talking about a Caterpie. Sixty poker pounds. All of that for 60 Poker Pounds. And of course, obligatory walk back to the Pokemon Center now because our Pokemon, our, our champion still can't hack it. <laughs> warp speed does help out a little bit. That's, that is the advantage of emulation, I suppose. Oh, that was a long time coming. That feels good. It feels good to get there. Oh, do you feel good? I wonder what. I wonder what the next. The next thing's gonna throw at us. Oh. Ah, no, I've already got one. Not interested. Been there, done that. Got the t shirt. Not fussed. However, let's pit them against each other. You go and lick that flaming tiger. I know I wouldn't. That was a critical hit. <laughs> <laughs> it barely did anything. <laughs> oh, but it did a point. Oh, it paralyzed. Hey, that's that's fine. That was a critical hit too, huh? Oh, and that's paralyzed us. Oh, it's gonna be another walk back to the Pokemon Center. Oh, I, I need to level these guys up. That's the. This is the real problem. That's not going to be very effective. Switching poggers, everyone gets a share. Comes in with a thunder punch. Shouldn't be too dangerous for us. That's fine. Going with the rock throw. Take it out. Finish the job. Everyone gets a share of XP. Everyone levels up and is all nice and handy. Archimine, 40. Doesn't level up. Unfortunate poggers. Whatever. <laughs> Onwards, let's progress with our quest. Another save, though. Just to make sure. How is everyone doing? Okay, it's a shame about the the paralysis, but I think we can we can do another. Yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer! Something like that. That's what most people who sit in the woods sound like. Pet Poacher wants to fight, and he has got a pincer. Ooh. Get in here with a Mega Kick. You can do this, this might do well for us. Okay then. <laughs> Fully paralyzed, that's not good.
take it down. It didn't take it down. Okay, Archimine goes away. Uh, would the... I'm gonna send in Poggers. I can't afford to take the chance. It knows Petal Dance too! Right. Not very effective on us though, which is fine. <laughs> yeah, Archimine was just being lazy. Two can play in that game, Pinsir, and my pedal dance should do more damage. It was also not very effective, that's unfortunate. Does hit him for two though, which is fine. You got just got these two Pokemon thrashing about throwing leaves at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of school, when autumn would come and all the leaves had fallen off the trees. You'd just throw bunches of leaves at your friends. Everyone did that, right? That wasn't just me. <laughs> Good job, Alchemine. You're doing the work. This is good. Seal. Okay. So you bring in Duo Dude. So that he can get a share of XP. Then I'm wondering if we send out Archimine for the Thunder Punch. Oh, but it is a water Pokemon, but it might not know any water moves. Let's let's give it a try. Bind. Okay. I feel like Seal looks like he's just bought us like a coin. Like he's just found a coin on the floor and he's like, here you go, this is for you. I bet we'll be fully paralysed after this stops, right? We're fine. But he comes back in with another bind. How is this seal binding us? With its tail? I don't know. Thunder punch it! It knows recover, so we need to send it home now. Archimine, you genius. Do it. Do it. Can't move. Uh, Guy, thank you for the follow. Very nice to have you on board. Hope you're doing alright this evening. Thank you for... Thank you for following. We're currently midway through a random round run of Pokemon where everything has been randomised right down to the moves that these Pokemon can learn. Which is why I've got, I'm currently wrapped up in a seal's tail, and I've got a flaming tiger punching it with electricity. Oh, of course it would. Of course it would. End this Archimine. This is just going to be a back and forth here. Come on. I'm, I believe. I believe. Oh god! I need a critical hit thunder punch, otherwise we need to swap, swap out. <gasps> He's done it! Oh! Don't ever doubt the flaming tiger. Dratini. Now the thunder didn't work for this, did it? I think we should literally just tag Poggers in and end it. with Petal Dance, I guess? Oh, that's a fair point. Maybe, um... Yeah, because Teleport is a psychic move, right? And Nidorino is... Uh, is... weak to psychic, so maybe the Dratini will just keep on using Teleport. Because... Gen 1 AI? No, it comes in with a Razor Leaf. It comes in with a Razor Leaf, of course it does. Okay, and I'm thrashing about because I thought that that would be effective against it, but apparently not. I mean, Dratini's just helping me, really. Dratini's using Razor Leaf, causing loads of leaves to fall on me. I'm doing a petal dance and just throwing him straight back at it. It is like that round with Pinsir all over again.
Oh, I didn't realize. I thought it, I didn't want to use it again. Why am I confused? Oh, because I've been dancing. I didn't mean to use it again. I thought it carried on attacking. Oh man, I've just made this even more. Wait, actually, the hurt could help because then it means we'll be able to use something else. It tried to teleport away, but it can't get in there with a the counter. And end this. Let's do it. Don't be like this. Right. I don't normally use items in battle, but it's needed. Tini tries to teleport away again, it can't. Oh. Is your heart going like mine is? I'm nervous, I don't want to lose this. Okay, right, so Rock Throw's 65% accuracy, right? What is Counter? I feel like Counter should have more, unless Counter only attacks if the other... if the other Pokémon lands an attack. Let's just end this. Oh, oh is it 60%? Right. Oh, huh? I ran out of Pokemon! Yes, you did. Back we go. Oh, Wild Arcanine. Okay. That's fine, we got one of those. We'll have to... We'll have to warp speed back once again. I can't afford to attack anything for now. That'll... <laughs> That'll do, Pog. That'll do. <laughs> okay, so... I mean, it, that, that would make sense, like, you can only launch a counter-attack if someone attacks you first, that's the nature of a counter-attack, so... That would, that would, it, that would explain why every time I've tried to use that move, nothing has happened. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate the insight on that, actually. Pog Poggers is not just a champ, he is the champ at the moment. He is carrying us right now. That little Nidorino. Well, I I am trying to to bring everyone else up, but it's just going to take a while. I think. Oh, it's so it's to do with typing in Gen One. I see. Then counter feels uh, well. It's not a wasted move, but it doesn't feel that useful currently. I mean, it's probably as useful now as it's going to be anywhere else in the game, <laughs> given how everything's all randomised anyway. Um, but I think we've we've found the way to do it. I think we do just need to square off against the trainers, have our weak Pokemon out first swap it over to Poggers to do the hard work. Swap in another weak one. And just get the level up going. Um, I'm not even sure I want to fight off against wild Pokemon at the moment. Because the trainers can be so temperamental, I want to save everything for them. No, so we haven't even made it to the first gym yet. This has been one hour forty in the making. <laughs> we haven't made it to the first gym yet. God only knows what Brock's got in store for us. There's no guarantee he's going to be the rock gym leader anymore. Hey, wait! What's the hurry? The fact that we've been in this forest for over an hour. <laughs> Alright, the last pet poacher of the area. He's got a Magnemite. We can do this! It's only a Magnemite. How bad can it be? A Magnemite that knows Pin Missile. But it does no damage. Trainers do give out much more XP. So, yes, that will also help. Okay, we need to take Archimite out right now. This Magnemite knows Hydro Pump for some reason. <laughs> we can't leave him out any longer. <laughs> 
Whew, alrighty, this is not gonna go well. Come on, Poggers. Oh, and Pin Missile is super effective. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we we need to do it. What's what's effective? Rock throw. It's effective if it hits. As long as pin missile keeps only hitting twice, we're fine. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Nothing's particularly helpful here. All of, all of my Pokemon lean towards grass tendencies, which isn't going to do anything to Electric. There goes that potion I just used. Literally, that's a, it, just. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh no. At least confuse it. Come on, right. Spare me. It missed! It missed! So you're saying there's a chance? Alright. <laughs> please. I don't have the best luck with confusion, but please hurt yourself. <gasps> oh! Yes! <laughs> oh, the noise! Oh! 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 I celebrated so hard. I think I need to put my ribs back in. <laughs> I give. You're good. No, we are lucky. <laughs> oh. Well, we're not out of the woods yet. We're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> we got to make it to Pewter City, but... It's a, it's a Taurus. It's a Taurus. Oh. To be quite honest, I just want to leave. <laughs> I just want to leave. <laughs> yeah, so Geodude has been, like, relatively useless, apart from when it's really come through for us. Oh, it's so nice to see a new Pokemon Center. It has, right? How intense has it been? I'm... I did not anticipate this. I think back to all the car journeys I had playing this game, and not once did I ever feel as stressed out as I do right now. <laughs> You're more into Sagittarius's? That's a shame to hear, Sam. I'm a Taurus. That's unfortunate. Still, never mind. I'm sure. I'm sure we can see a way past it. <laughs> Yeah, useless may be a strong word, inconsistent is probably better. Where's it? I mean, we've lost all our money because we keep losing. I don't feel like I've lost that much. How much money do you lose whenever you lose a fight? Is it half? I don't feel like we've lost that much. <sighs> Never mind. I mean, there's not much else for us to do now, other than go and see what Brock has in store for us. 
and honestly I am deeply concerned. We're actually quite under leveled for Brock as well, so I think we do actually need to grind out some some more levels. If I recall, I think Brock's Pokemon are level 12 and 14. Like I said at the start, so although the Pokemon encounters are random, their levels are not. That's a muck. <laughs> a level 3 muck. I mean... Sure. Is it worth picking up a muck? Maybe. Why not? Come here, boy. Ah, okay. It... I was not expecting to catch that. <laughs> Glad to have done it. Ah. Oh. Wonderful. Uh, a nickname for muck. Not the usual name, before anyone gets any ideas. Jelly Child, Slime. Oh, hey, King! Didn't realise you'd popped in. Good to see you. Any advances on Jelly Child and Slime? I don't know if Jelly Child will fit. How many counts have I got? Oh, it will fit, but without the space. Jelly Child? Jelly Child, all one word. Hi, my name's Stephen. P H or V? <laughs> As it's spelled. Hi, my name's Jelly Child, all one word. Ah, <laughs> oh, far fetched. <laughs> I mean, if we can. We're not here to catch Pokemon, we're here to level up. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Just need to level the Pokemon up. And now I know I've got some birds that I can frazzle. That's exactly what we need. What I should do is... As soon as I've got some Pokemon who can tank it, let's get Jelly Child in the start so that we can start building up his XP as well. Ah! Jelly Child the second. It's good to see you. I like, I like how intimidating the muck sprite looks when it's an enemy versus how pathetic it looks when we've actually caught one. <laughs> um, right, so let's switch out to Archimine. Hi! Kinesis, what does that do? I've never seen that move before. Uh, Mega Kick, go on. Good effort. That's what I expect. That's what I expect. Another far fetch. It's fine. Zap it with a thunder punch. Oh, the sound is so attention seeking. <laughs> hey! Over here! Come and sit with me! The problem, this, the problem is that this is going to take a little while because everything is really low level here at the moment. Nidorina! So we've got Poggers. 
Did we get him a sister as well? Oh! When did... Oh, this is the first time I've checked out Muck's moveset. That's not a bad moveset, I don't think. Spike Cannon, Agility, Tackle and Kinesis? That feels like a pretty decent run of moves. Come on, Jelly Child. Oh man, it doesn't... doesn't do much on the... on the damage front though. And then she just comes in with that. That's fine. That's fine. Absol and Suzuki, like a Japanese TV presenter duo or something like that. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Now that she's paralysed as well, I feel confident in getting Duo Dude out there to do some work. Go on, confuse her as well. Nah, wasn't gonna happen. Go on, I'll let you. I'll let you launch off a solar beam. It's not very effective, but I'll let you do something. Oh, took her out though. Good effort. Well done, Duo Dude. Problem of doing leveling up Pokemon this way is that all the XP gets shared out, so it doesn't really doesn't really go anywhere. Okay, I know we haven't done much grinding. Let's let's hit up Brock's gym and see what's going on. Press Alt F4. Uh, no, I don't think I will. Just because that tends to close the window. And I kind of need the window open to be able to play the game. I appreciate the suggestion though. Uh, right. So, gonna save. I thought Alt F4 was the... was the close thing. Oh, it's Control X on this. Good to know. Um, but also, and said that as well. I did. We did try full screen, and it wasn't showing the. It didn't show the video. Why do I think Alt F Four is normally to close a window? In, in that case, my my apologies for for my response there. That um, that wasn't the appropriate response. I apologise. Um, Because, you know, it did... It, it didn't... Let's give it, let's give it a stab. You lied! <laughs> you lied! I saved literally before doing that. <laughs> I hope I did. I'm fairly sure I did. Um, Got to go through the opening call. Zero progress lost. <laughs> we have learned a valuable lesson this day. Let's see what this train has got for us. Stop right there, criminal scum! Nobody breaks the law on my watch! Flint! <laughs> His name is Flint! Brock doesn't exist in this universe. It's Flint. <laughs> Power Walker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I'm so glad we got it to randomise the trainer names. We've got to defeat a Power Walker before we can go on to face Flint. Jelly Child has no chance. Archimine has some lightning attacks, so we can do that. I have no idea where it's pulling these names from. 
I... Whoa. Someone's got an impression to make. Um, I'm assuming there's just like a whole database of these contained within the program we use to randomize the thing. And it just picks some at random. Oh dear. Archimine is suffering here. I think we're going to need to swap out. The problem of using Duo Dude is that... With Gold Up Nose Thunderbolt. And we do have Solar Beam going for us. Let's give it a try. Do your worst. Don't you dare. Supersonic, I can afford to lose. That's fine. Take in sunlight and don't kill us. Or absolutely cream us. That's upsetting. Come on, Poggers. Do it for the team. This double edge is a dangerous move. I didn't see how many Pokemon this Power Walker had. <laughs> Hopefully not many more. Jelly Child climbing the ranks. Poggers leveling up as well. Good. And Arcamine as well. A full set. Shame about Duo Dude. A Hypno. Yes. We will. We'll switch to Arcamine first. Oh, Hypno has a janky cry. And then. I'm gonna chance it on Jelly Child. Hopefully he'll be okay. Jump kick, not very effective. That's fine. Jelly Child, do you want to have a go at this? Maybe not too many goes at this. You're not very strong, but do some work. Come on. Yeah, get that in there. Ooh. <laughs> Don't know where these spikes are coming from, but I thought the spike cannon was a cloister exclusive move, so. Jelly Child just wants to make friends. It's a very obscure way of doing it. I hate these moves. Oh no. Oh no. Come off it! Come on. Do the work. Oh, it does no work at all. I can't heal. Okay. This is fine though, we're just testing the waters. We're just testing the water for the time being. Um, ghost against Psychic. Ghost's good against Psychic, isn't it? No, doesn't affect Psychic. Alright. I don't want to damage Jelly Child's self esteem, but I haven't got much hope for this. couple more rounds like that, it's over. It's not over. <laughs> this is such a roller coaster. I'm gonna I'm gonna get Jelly Child the W here. Don't spoil this. Oh no. Come on. 
Yes! <laughs> oh, 388 from level 6 to level 8. Nice. Whew. Man. What a... What a roller coaster. <laughs> Whew. This is crazy. There have been so many special moments <laughs> in this in these last two hours. Whew. Who'd have thought? <sighs> Pokemon can still learn moves by leveling up as well. Uh, I think the move that they learn when they level up is random, but they still learn the move at the level they would normally, if that makes sense. So if Dojuo was going to learn a move at level 12, it would still learn a move at level 12, but it wouldn't be a usual one. Could we take down Brock? Not really, not with this team currently. But I... Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. I'm filled with concern. But... If the typing lines up... Exactly, it depends on his Pokémon. If the typing lines up, then we could be on to something good. Better than anything on TV? I am... Thoroughly glad to hear you say that. I'm glad that you enjoy it. Um, having said that, I don't know what's on TV at the moment. When the when the stream started, the last episode of EastEnders that was recorded before lockdown was being aired, so... <laughs> Chocolate biscuit? Alright, you've convinced me. Let's risk it. I'm Flint! I'm Pewter Jim's leader. I believe in rock and hard defense and determination. We'll see about that. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Are they? Are they? Yes, I want to challenge you. Show me what you got, Flint. The gym leader battle music is some of the best in this game as well. Vaporeon? The well-known rock Pokémon that is. <laughs> oh, Jelly Child is coming through with the spike cannon. It is doing the work doing the work beautifully. Let's... Let's get Arcamine out. He's got a Thunder Punch. We can take Vaporeon out with that. Especially if it's just going to keep on biting us. We've got nothing to fear. Oh, that didn't really do as much as I was hoping. Paralyzed it, though. That's great. Oh! <sighs> Forgot about full heals. Suit yourself, and just do it again. Oof. I always thought that! I always thought his tail was an extra paw. That's the kind of, like, overly expressive Italian man gesture. He's like, hey! I'm walking here! Which I know isn't Italian, that's like New York, but that kind of it's that kind of gesture. Take it out, take it home. Beautiful. Good job, Jelly Child. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Flint is about to use Polywell. <laughs> Him and Misty exchange notes. 
Uh, yes, we will switch. I'm gonna... I'm gonna give... I'm gonna give Duo, du Duo Dude a chance to shine. And you got Polywell stood there, it was like, You what, mate? Dream Eater? No chance. Ah, oh, if he's gonna keep on coming in with Dream Eater, this one is sewn up. Yes, more of that. <laughs> Where? How does Polywell even eat? Ignoring the fact that dreams can't be eaten anyway, Polywell hasn't got a mouth organ. I mean, in terms of the instrument or just having a mouth. <laughs> oh, Flint. <laughs> I like the idea that Flint just stood there going, Why won't you eat the dreams? Oh, it does no headbutt. Okay. Coming in with a last minute play. It's too late. Good job, du duo dude. Whew. I took you for granted. As proof of your victory, here's the boulder badge. Flint, owner of the world's polywell. <laughs> it's like it didn't even try to put us asleep. Yes. Oh. So, just to kind of quantify that, right? It took us about an hour and 45 minutes to get to the gym and 15 minutes to beat it. Ah, <laughs> oh, wonderful. Wait, take this with you. TM34. <laughs> yeah, boulder badge for beating the water Pokemon. So, we have our first TM when we created this at the start, we randomised what moves were contained within which TM. Funnily enough, Team 34 contains Dream Eater. Which... We'd never have guessed. <laughs> I like to think that all four of Polywell's moves were Dream Eater. <laughs> so... Wait, hang on a second. I need to read that back. I feel like the... The TM text was different as well, was it? Because normally it says, like, this contains Bide, and it absorbs energy and pays it back double or something like that. And I feel like the text was different, but I probably skipped through it too quickly for anyone to notice. In which case we'll have to pay more attention next time. Ah, oh, wonderful. So we've got a TM, we've got Dream Eater, which we is actually relatively useless because none of our Pokémon can put anything to sleep at the moment. And as Flint very deftly proved, you can't use it unless a Pokémon is asleep. We also randomised which Pokémon can learn what TMs, so there's it's probable that we can teach this to... I don't know, might be able to teach it to Arcanine. Oh, huh. Duo Dude and Jelly Child can learn Dream Eater, which is only useful so long as they can also learn Hypnosis or something like that. <laughs> Never mind. We'll hang on to it. If nothing else, we can sell it. Oh, good. I'm glad we've at least made a bit of progress. I think all of our Pokémon leveled up more than they have done in their entirety, just in that gym fight as well. Anyway, here we come to our first proper trainer gauntlet, saving it now. Let's see that pop up, saving it now. Uh, we come to our first trainer gauntlet of the run. Let's, let's give this a go, see how we do. Who's first? God, I gotta get close to her. You looked at me, didn't you?
Hello there, sass. <laughs> not, not stretching the imagination too, too far on the name change for this character. <laughs> what do you got for me? Ride on. Well, alrighty then. Anything useful for it? Not really. This is going to be a, a bait and switch job, isn't it? Have I got anything useful for this? Thunder's not going to do us any good. I think this is a job for Duo Dude with Solar Beam. Woo! <laughs> Alright! Fury Swipes missed, Solar Beam, take it down. This is it, this is the duo dude we've been wanting to see all along. Ah, here we go. It was a mammoth mountain climb to get to this point, but it feels like now we're beginning to crest the wave. Horsey? Horsey? Yes, I will change. We'll change to Archimine, and then just punch it in the face with electricity. That poor little seahorse didn't know what hit it, other than thunder. Soft boiled? What the? What is this move? What was that? I mean, other than a health item, health move. All right, suit yourself. Whatever. I think I remember part of the game lore that says that only Chansey can use that move. Which... Fair enough. Ah, That horsey stands no chance. Coming back in again. You can... Do, do as you please. But I will get there. There you go. Don't matter how many eggs you lay, and how many of them you then go on to eat, my Archimine will take you out. It tried, and it failed. Turns out you can't beat a flaming tiger. Lion. Thing. Is it a tiger or a lion? I think it's probably closer to a lion, isn't it, really? But having said that, it's Arcanine, isn't it? So it's based on a, based on a dog. So it's, yeah, 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 a wolf dog. What's what's a big dog? Because you've got all the big cats, what's a big dog? The biggest I can think of is a wolf. And they're not massive. <laughs> they're mastiff. <laughs> yes! The pun master is back. Bow before my grace. <laughs> oh. Oh. You, you give me long enough and I will come up with something. <laughs> oh. Hey, I met you in Viridian Forest! Oh, it's another pet poacher. My team has changed considerably since the last time we met. Oh my god. <laughs> uh oh. But, but, but it's random! So yes, the Pokémon is scary, but... Its moves might not be. We might still stand a chance. Don't know what that does. Whatever. Come on, Jelly Child. That's good. I'm proud of that. <laughs> He's using a game shark. <laughs> It's not fair, only I'm supposed to use cheat codes. Not that we are, but... Oh, that was a good switch right there, coming in. The Razor Leaf's not going to do much to us. Oh, unless it's a critical hit, but that's fine. 
Um, come on, Dragonite. Oh, we just... Thunder Punch, then. Whatever. I... Teleport. This Dragonite, I don't want to speak too soon, but this Dragonite is weak. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give all, I'm gonna give the whole team a go. Whole team can take this on. There you go. Mist failed. Cue up a solar beam. Fantastic. Oh, it did no damage, but I don't know why, it, why the text keeps on skipping fast really quickly whenever it uses mist. But whatever. If that's the way it's going to be, that's the way it's going to be. This Dragonite. Man, what has... What has this trainer been doing? There you go. It's the first time the entire team has had a go, I think. Everyone gets a share. What next? Graveler? I can't... Ah, oh, the rock's going to be no good. What else did Poggers know? Whatever, let's switch out to... Duo Dude for Solar Beam. We're getting into it now. <laughs> Whoa! No thank you, Graveler, I'm not that kind of... <laughs> I'm not that kind of trainer. <laughs> You're just not my type, I'm more water type. <laughs> That's another Pokemon pun for you there. Enjoy. That one's free of charge. <laughs> Sandshrew? Uh, there's no need to change. Now Duo Dude's coming into his own. I'm happy to let him take the reins. Sanshu is adorable. Absolutely adorable. It just looks so confused as it's being blasted in the face with the rays of the sun. <laughs> oh. Wonderful. I mean, while we're looking at faces, how angry does Pet Poacher look now? He looks seriously annoyed that we blasted the sun into the face of his adorable little Sandshrew. <laughs> yes, we're now in Duo Dude's Pride Before the Fall segment. Oh, I I'm proud of this team now as it's beginning to build. We don't really need to nor want to catch anything until we get to around Mount Moon, I think. Yeah. In fairness, I've probably pulled that face several times this evening already. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you will see me again. Does anyone know if I've missed anything in any houses or with any NPCs? I don't think I have. I think the start of the game is relatively empty for that sort of stuff. Um, I know you got the fossil, but we can't get to that yet, so... Other than that, I don't think there is anything. And a town map from the... From the rival sister in Pallet Town. Other than that, I think there's nothing important going on. Hey! It's everyone's favourite trainer. As everyone knows, shorts are comfy and easy to wear. Let's see what this youngster's got for- well, no, he's not a youngster, is he? What, what are you? Too young! I'm sorry I laughed. <laughs> oh, we've learned a second valuable lesson today. Goes something along the lines of don't judge a book by its cover. 
<laughs> He's like, I may look young. Go Moltres! Yeah, he, he's definitely be, he's been given the keys to the Ferrari without being able to reach the pedals. Go on, Jelly Child, do your usual. Get a couple of spikes in. That'll do. Then I hope, um, Hoggers comes in with the rock throw. I mean, actually, we're we're in a problem now because rock throw is fairly lame accuracy, and now we've just had sand blasted in our eyes. <laughs> Did you catch a Moltres at the age of six? I think not. No, you're right, I didn't. I I got a Doduo by chance. I turned down a Geodude and Eraticate for it. <laughs> got at least 12 Legendaries and 12... Her I don't think I've got 12 Poker Pounds. Oh, true, because it is flying, isn't it? Yeah. Never mind. It was a good shout though on the thunder. If we, if his next one's Articuno, then we'll definitely go with that. <laughs> Easiest Moltres ever. Too young is about to use a Vulpix. Oh, he likes his fire types. Fair enough. Uh, yes. Let's let's give Archimine a go because he's he's now on the lowest level. He's he's done a lot of the heavy lifting so far, but he's on low lowest level, so should give him a bit of love. Oof. And just lick it. Beautiful. <laughs> Surely you start with the Vulpix. I don't believe it! Nor, nor do I. Nor do I. So this is... This is another confusing sprite, right? So is he wearing his hat to the side? And if so, what is that? black square in the middle, because to me that says that he's wearing his hat backwards and he's got his fringe poking through the front, but the right hand side of it looks like it's the visor on a cap. Oh well, anyways, 165 poke. you've got a Moltres and you can only afford to pay me 165 poker pounds. Poor show. Poor show. It's fashion. Look it up, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. do, 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 do. Come on then, Sass. What have you got? That look you gave me. It's so intriguing. What do you got for me, Sass? Flareon. This is Flame Trainer Central. Come on, Jelly Child, you can you can take down a Flareon. Oh man. That rock slide move is very hard on the ears. Come on, Jelly Child! Do you know what? Just tackle. Tackle it to the end. I believe. <laughs> Misty's going to be called Foggy. <laughs> Hold that thought, because we're not going. We're not going to make it that far tonight. I'm afraid. Um, I'll be due to be wrapping wrapping up shortly, so. We won't make it to Misty tonight, but hold that thought, keep that bet in mind, and we will see how it goes. Oh, what did... 
What did it say he was changing to? Can't remember. Let's just take a punt on Archimine. Oh, it was a water type. <laughs> oh, but he knows Thunder Punch. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, man. It's no longer fine. Okay. Duo dude it is. Oh, but he only knows Solar Beam, which does... Oh, no, it's strong, isn't it? So, Tent Tentacruel is just so upset. Tentacruel is someone who has been waiting 10 minutes for the manager to come over. <laughs> uh, valiant effort, Duo Dude, but you're just not strong enough in this instance. It's like, no, no, the, fo the food was fine. It's just, oh my gosh, you're putting them all to sleep. Tentacarrot. <laughs> Tentacarrot. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, I'm, I'm making a note of that. If we ever come to a point where we can catch a tentacle or tentacruel, I'm going to call it Tentacarrot. <laughs> Come on, Poggers. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. That's it. Take no time to sleep on the job. Does... Is this gonna work? I don't know. I can't remember. Le Leaf does well against water, right? Water doesn't do well against Leaf. Those are the technical Pokemon types, by the way. It does not do well. It's done the damage, but it's not what we should have done. May have to go and heal before this one, before the next fight. Ah. Oh. This is, this is it now. This is it. This is where... This is the run that's been hiding, hang, hiding out from us. Well, I mean, do we need to go back and heal? I reckon that... I think we can do it. Plants suck. The H2O. Yeah, I do remember learning that in science. Not exactly in those ways, but... Oh, okay. Part poison. I... I know so little about Pokemon, it's actually quite insulting that I'm even playing it. <laughs> Are you a trainer? Let's fight! Alright then. Ah, another pet poacher, hey? Oh! Jinx, what a noise! Level 12 Jelly Child can surely to Oh, forget Jinx knows Hyper Beam. Woohoo! Valiant effort, Jelly Child, but you need to come back. Please be kind. Oh yeah, Jinx has to recharge, that's fine. Oh, so do I though, for Solar Beam. That's fine. We can take it. We can take one of them. Easily. We can take loads of them. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, he's got four though, I didn't see that. Machoke. I need to, I need to get Archimine into the fray really to wake him up. But let's see, let's see what we can do here. Jump kick does the damage, but not very effective. Oh, 
Oof. Expensive move. Um, I think all we can do is confuse it, and then we can't even confuse it. Okay. Duo dude, you fought valiantly and redeemed yourself well. Come on, Poggers. I need you to do some work for me. Rock throw is probably not... Oh, my choke's fighting, isn't it? So it might work. It doesn't work. You can use Leer, that's okay. <sighs> I'm getting nervous, we still got two more to face. Oh It's the same duo dude as Duo Dude is gone, otherwise this could be a This could be a face off. What does it know? It will know Solar Beam. So what we do is we put the Archimine out because the Solar Beam won't do much damage to a fire type and then we can use the Thunder Punch to do a load of damage when we wake up. That's the tactic. Sure enough. Archimine woke up. Solar Beam comes in. Doesn't do much damage. Beautiful. Thunder Punch it out. Oh, that's fine. Archimine was drowsy. It had literally just woken up. Nice. One shot. That's the Archimine I know and love. And a Pidgey sewn up. This is not a problem. It could be a problem. It is a problem. <laughs> Who knew? Oh, we're no longer confused. That's not going to do anything. Dig is going to hurt us. You need to land this, Archimine. Whew, it is done. Hoo wee. If I had new Pokemon, I would have won. No, you would not. Okay. We're gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and then we are gonna call it a job done for the night. Whew, I I have not had a roller coaster of stress and elation like that in a long time. <laughs> Probably not since my A levels. <laughs> you you will see me again. Wonderful. All right, I'll do a save and that'll be it. Thank you so very much for joining me on this wonderful stream, those of you who are still here, and those of you who were here but are no longer. Um, we'll carry on with this again on next Monday, I think, because this was this stream was supposed to happen yesterday, but Twitch broke. So next Monday we'll carry on with this. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks very much. Uh, thank you for the people who followed and all that sort of stuff. We'll um, see you again soon. Everyone have a good night. Catch you all later.